just for the school. A bit of HG. I haven't seen this one yet. Well, listen to it. Come on. The Dirty Empire. Relationship. The Empire. Regarded as a paragon of virtue, with the empathic traits such as honesty, decency, compassion, love, dignity, moral compass, and besides. <laughs> These traits. Did you say that? that when shackled to the addiction, the empath makes tempting prey for rats. Easier to control, easier to ensnare, easier to keep ensnared. Heightened fuel output, particular character traits. Well run, us And alongside. Ready for a jump. The empath Shut the gun ready. Character traits control pride and residual benefits. And this is why the empath is the number one prey of the I'll listen to this yet. Which we are drawn to you for those reasons, and you are drawn to us because of the addiction. Of course, to suggest that the empath is a parent of virtue is misleading. To think that the empath walks through the world as a figure of tranquil calm pouring oil on troubled waters, never shouting, always speaking in hushed tones, angelic, kind, never angry, Bit like never frustrated, never upset, is a fiction. <laughs> and that's not human beings. But as I've explained elsewhere, These they operate speaks with a wide range though. of emotional empathy. It's like and it. <laughs> whilst they are abundant of both narcissistic like and empathic traits, the empath's empathic traits are stronger. Off. The ones I was originally t attacking online. Within these virtuous empathic traits, which triggered all the narc to rabbi. The narcissistic traits. Yeah, and the people who knew more about it. And knew me the longest, or knew me. Most of all. Were the most narcissistic ones. Of which did not help one bit. Be counted right up until they realized and uh, it's difficult to realize if you've got children very difficult so I know that because I haven't got kids and uh, that's my vantage point I'm afraid to say. Just because you've had kids doesn't mean that you know it all. And this is what's important. Really. I'm not trying to tell anyone what to do. But if that's the case. That's the reason why nothing gets looked at. Nothing gets attended to. Nothing gets dealt with emotionally, psychologically, physically. And all the more intimate dynamics and mechanics of society have not been looked at because everyone's looking at another person. The external. And that's it. Um, I don't know what age she's on about, but I'm sure it's quite good. This is a consequence of the application again. of an external stressor. External stressor. One of the instances where narcissistic traits... Right. I've read um, so I've gone up to the, the three, three of them. Three, which is so prolific. The empathic traits become and it down. kind of resonates with a three-headed dog, a bit like Cerberus, yeah. yeah. And there's three of them. And they have names and they have identities. And they're all so different. Yet, uh, part part of the same goal. Enthusiasts, uh, I think. Well, is that what you call? It's definitely not. Well, they're up for uh, destroying anything that comes close to. 
love. And even loving the fact that they're so crazy and they've devoted their bodies and their minds to getting this across to people, almost like a, a puppet does. To go so with the script, stick to the script so much that it can be literally predicted. Is it gonna have to have any clairvoyance in you to realize what's gonna happen next, what's gonna be said next? Because these people don't pay attention to people like H3 or um, any anyone else that kind of questions them a bit. So, they literally do step into these massive, big fucking pits full of shit that they've created. And it's not my fault, I've got to say. Not my fault. When it boils down to it, uh, the excuse will be abuse. Sorry to say, abuse, whether it be when I was younger or whenever, and that it can't be helped, that they can't change, and that nothing can be helped of this person, because they're so concrete and set in their ways, concrete, it's like a big plant pot full of concrete. Someone standing in it, as they were setting in the sun. And then they're put on a raft, a dodgy raft, out in the middle of a lake. As your feet are set in this big bucket of concrete. Don't get me started. I'm a psycho, yeah, of course. Gotta be, innit? Well, I'll pretend to be. I'll pretend to be one, innit? Unlike some people who do a spook, well, try and spook. Because people know that, um, that it comes a point where the threshold of like messing round, joking round, or trying to fucking be dramatic and actually being real. And much like me, I'm not joking. People think I'm joking. Uh, the other person who sends me these emails, which just get weirder and weirder, gotta say, because the boa constrictor is constricting any single message, a word or anything. If this person tightens that boa constrictor even more because it's already been seen. What's been seen? You. And I'm sorry that you've not seen it yourself, but that's you. And there's only three in my life which are massive examples that no one can argue with because you can't argue with these people but you don't want to anyway because uh, they're always me and I'm in their own minds so with that in mind there's no debate there's no debating on this because these emails are bad psychological bullying so gaslighting, over three years, knowingly gaslighting someone. I mean, this person's not included within them two, just knowingly did this. And they had a uh, good reason to actually do something because of the amount of fuss someone kicked up about something, whatever it may be about, whether it be conspiracies, about being raped, about nearly being raped, or about something serious, about uh, abuse, and the other person knowing fully well what I'm on about, and infusing on the fact it's difficult to get out without another person there to help me explain these people did that. And they actually probably knew more than me. They could have well helped, but they didn't. 
So, unfortunately for them, they've got kids, and I haven't. So, with that in mind, now the world's getting shot up to the max. Needles and uh, tests worldwide. Masks, you know. Have we seen it? Has anyone seen it? Have we got your COVID trap yet? Oh shit, shadow ban. And that's uh, now there's so much. I'm not gonna be a conspiracy theorist because I'm not one, but this is the mother of them all. She's been telling people about for years. So I wasn't joking, yeah. So anyway, what about this Brian Rose guy? HG. He's a fucking dick. HG. You've got to fucking check this Brian Rose guy out. What's going on here now? They will not pursue that person. As that affects. I'll leave you to it for a bit. Look at this now, man. It's not good. Then the real blasting shit online. And it's just purely for distraction. It's entertainment. It's piss taking entertainment. But what's so hideously nasty about this is that it's piss taking. Yeah. And the piss takers are the Yanks taking the piss out of the Brits. And I'm Welsh, and I include myself as a Brit. And they're just really taking the piss, HG. Really taking the piss with Brian Rose. You noticed him? It's unbelievable, man. Well, it's not unbelievable because it's happening, and and it's not getting covered. So sooner or later, sneakily isn't enough. Of course they cover it in the fucking alt media. Just to let people know, innit? And then sooner or later... All of a sudden, again, we got an American president instead of a fucking prime minister. And that's Brian Rose. Now, HG, I would much rather you be president or prime minister of the UK than anywhere, actually. (sighs) Yeah, anyone. That includes Brian Rose. So, fuck me. Because we know what he's going to go for, isn't he? Ryan Rose. Fucking I work his way up the ladder. Up the ladder. From May. He's got a mad fair H3. Not joking. I mean, we've seen him. Check him out. I I just got all these, um... You know, com- uh, not confirmations, um... Notifications. And, uh... Oh, he's just walking around London, isn't he? With his big fuck off massive tie. Uh, walking up the fucking strokes and shit. <laughs> Some of those people, man, they're paid. Say that. Those people promoting him. How easy is this to spot people? I can spot an actor. Uh, because I'm not one thing. But I can spot someone who's gone to work in acting school because. I did hang around with a few people like that back in the day, back in college. I know exactly what they're like. <sighs> My mind was like a sponge back in the day. Still now. <laughs> like a sponge. <laughs> just gets rinsed. Let's have a look at this now. Yeah, that's Brian Rose guy, HG. What do I do? I mean, I know that, like, I've got these three narcs on me. Two of them basically show themselves to be the best knocks. You can find the most funniest and the most creative one, in a way, in a weird way. But the one online, the most disturbing one, and it's the one I've loved no longer, too. And the uh, thing is, everyone knows this guy. So it's not like a shock. For anyone to uh, realise. Because we've seen him go a bit weird before, but thought it was like part of a, I don't know, part of a script, part of a show or something. It's like talking about 20 years ago. Becky Slack remembers it. 
Johnny Backy. Backy Slack. Remember when we went in through the back window in the house? He was there at the top of the, top of the stairs. <laughs> and I thought, fuck it out, you're psycho. And he was there smoking cigarettes. <laughs> that was funny though, it was like a film. Eh? I, I thought you drunk the fucking, uh, I thought you drunk the air freshener. There's freaking air freshener bottle there. Oh, it stank. Air freshener. It's a mad house that was, wasn't it? Anyway, I don't want to talk to you again. And I uh, don't want to see you. So, same as I don't the others either. Don't worry. But yeah, I was picking on you, mate. Um, there's three of them. Almost like a... It is a slaughter of Cerberus, I've got to say. Because it's a three-headed... Pimple, why? Just came at me for about 20 years. So I had to record them. And, well, at least record my experience with these people. Gnosis pattern reoccurring, as always. And they all matched so and so well together that it became a picture of a consciousness tries to prevail yet does its best to pretend that it doesn't try now I don't do anything like that don't bother trying I don't bother being I just didn't bother living really properly not for some funds, you know. Like I said, riding the rim, me. Riding the rim of reality, baby. Love it. You get a new fuse for my amp. You get a new fuse in that. Get it cranked up. Get some nice glues in a bit. Anyway. Sorry for being weird, weird and cocky. There's the only way I can deliver it, you know. It's, it's Brian Rose guy. I mean, how, how the fuck are you gonna come up against this guy without being a bit narky yourself? You have to be in, in this game. But lucky I'm not a narc. But I'm good, good traits. Good load of traits that I've uh, picked up from all the traitors along the way. That's right.